Hey team, Mike here, co-founder of Athena. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure and use working hours on either the account view or at the organization level. So working hours allow you to set for either on an individual channel or broadly across all of your channels, what hours you want to track for your analytics, as well as even enable things like auto response outside of working hours. This is most commonly used for making sure that your analytics are accurate. If you want to exclude things like evenings, uh, overnight or early mornings from your analytics. So typically in analytics, you might look at something like first response time or the number of SLA reminders or total resolution time. That can sometimes look or skew long, especially for nighttime messages that come in from customers, overnight messages, or even weekends. So people will often use working hours to exclude those things. So the first is I'm gonna show you the different configuration op options that you have for working hours. So the best place to do this is to just go directly into Slack and you can do this from any channel. Here I'm just in an example demo channel and you can type Thena config and there's two different config options in Slack when you go to Thena. There's the global config and then there's the channel config. The channel config allows you to select the channel that you want to change that configuration for. So for example, you could say working hours for a US account to have a certain set of working hours and working hours for a European account or an Asian account to have a different set of working hours. We like to usually have it, since most of our go-to-market team is in the US, uh, most of our working hours are set for on the global level, which means it'll be consistent across all of them. So you, I'm going to select global config, but just know that you can do it on an individual basis. So now when I click on global config, I'm going to click into the second button, which is working hours. And so there's a couple different things within working hours. The first thing you want to do is simply enable working hours. So by default, working hours are off. We will kind of keep uh, track of requests and count the time towards analytics during all times and days, including weekends. But as soon as you enable working hours, what you can do there is then you can configure the working days. Usually it's Monday through Friday. So you enable working hours, and then you'll select what's the beginning and the end time, and then you'll select the time zone. One note on the end time is this is a military time or the 24 hour time. So if it's, for example, 7 p.m., you'll wanna use 1900. Uh, and then make sure to select your time zone. Now this is, again, since this is a global config, these are the set working hours at the global level. If you set individual channel working hours, that'll override for that specific channel or customer. So that's the first thing you can do. And then that will take working hours into consideration for things like SLA reminders, as well as your analytics. The additional thing that you can do, which you don't have to do, but you can do, is also enable things like out of office responders. So for example, let's say for any messages that come in outside of this time window, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern time zone, you can enable an out of office responder. So some folks will do this uh, maybe during the weekend, for example, uh, and they will enable it. And then you can type in any message here for the out of office responder. Uh, and you can say, you know, our working hours are, you know, X to Y, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. By default, Thena will respond, but you can have the account owner. If you've set account owner on in the settings, you can have the account owner avatar reply. Um, and then we'll only reply with this to things that are detected as requests outside of working hours. So things that RAI has picked up and said, this is a request from a customer. You could, in theory, also have it reply to all customer messages, things that are maybe chit chat. I don't recommend this, but it's an option, a configuration option that you have. So. Uh, when you enable this, then it will take that into account. And if you set up the out of office responder, it will automatically reply. Alrighty. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.